powerful would our world be if we had kids who, who were not afraid to take risks, who were not afraid to think, and who had a champion. Every child deserves a champion, an adult who will never give up on them, who understands the power of connection and insists that they become the best that they can possibly be. You know another thing that's kind of messed up is how we educate kids. Our teachers deserve better. This year, there are going to be millions of our children that we're going to needlessly lose. The system we have today isn't fair to them. It's not fair to students, and it's putting America's global leadership at risk. Our greatest crime is that we add, we ask this resource to sit down in one place for eight hours a day and stare straight ahead. Sit down and pay attention, won't you? But isn't that fundamentally opposed to our nature as doers? In some parts of the country, 60% of kids drop out of high school. In the Native American communities, it's 80% of kids. If we halved that number, one estimate is it would create a net gain to the US economy over 10 years of nearly a trillion dollars. Why haven't we fixed this? Those of us in education have held on to a business plan that we don't care how many millions of young people fail. Yes, ma'am, they, 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 they know what they want. They see the bigger picture, but they don't see the things that you need to have. Einstein said, insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting a different result. I don't understand. You know, they get in the office and they, you know, they say one thing and when they get in the office they do a whole nother thing, so I'm definitely upset. Just blocks away, Mayor de Blasio attended a rally to pressure lawmakers to approve a tax on the rich to fund his pre-K program. There were far fewer there, under a thousand. We find the force of our words and the force of our commitment and the force of our compassion and our heart for our children, we are going to keep this issue moving forward. The education industry has said the same thing for decades. More money, more money, more money, and it'll change. We say in this country, no child left behind. So the no child left behind start with the pre -K. But I knew that Americans get irony when I came across that legislation, no child left behind. Consider the rankings for reading proficiency. The US isn't number one. We're not even in the top 10. We're tied for 15th with Iceland and Poland. So teachers become great actors and great actresses and we come to work when we don't feel like it and we listen to policy that doesn't make sense and we teach anyway. The real safety of our nation is preparing this next generation so that they can take our place uh, and be the leaders uh, of the world. Uh, once we do that, I'll no longer be angry.